Hello everyone, welcome back, it's time for another Kaguya Summer reaction. This time we are up to Season 2, Episode 12. And unfortunately that is a little bit bittersweet because it's the season finale. I liken it to being at school and having school holidays and having a really great event happening at the very last day of school holidays. Because on the one hand you're really looking forward to it and you're happy for the event, but you also realise that it means it's the end of holidays. In this case, it means it's the end of the season. So, it's going to be great. It's been a wild ride for sure. It's been extremely solid entirely throughout the whole season. And I can't wait to see how it ends. Um, but, unfortunately, it means there's nothing after this. <laughs> so, last episode, we managed to see how and why... Everyone in Kaguya-sama Love is War are all best boys and best girls. Although obviously the light was particularly shining on Ishigami for the past couple of episodes. So we got to learn about the events that changed Ishigami from just a well, regular, socially awkward student in school to becoming the kind of the social outcast as a result of his interactions with Kyoko and, well, particularly um, Ogino, the boy who was a real absolute scumbag and who Ishigami ended up punching. And I'm not going to say that Ogino deserved it, but I mean, you know, he really deserved it. Yeah, unfortunately it resulted in a whole bunch of strife for Ishigami, which... Man, I really feel for him, but the the good part that came out of it was getting to see all of his friends. All of these people who were supporting him, despite all of the other things that were going around and the rumours and no matter how Ogino tried to use his own influence to make Ishigami out to be the be the real bad guy there. There were people who cared about finding the truth. And they supported Ishigami through it, in particular, I mean, the student council, basically. So, last episode was just full of some wonderful things. We're sort of reminded, not just from last episode, but the episode before, about how, through Kobachi's memories, we got to see that um, Miko had been fighting for... Ishigami to be able to get into high school, um, even despite the sort of antagonistic relationship that they've always had. We've already seen the way that Kaguya has helped him and has been helping actively lately. And we saw Shiragane literally bringing the light to him. I'm getting all sort of tingly just thinking about it. <laughs> Just remembering that moment, but it was it was really good, the music and all of that. But yeah, man. Um Shuragane is just a coming in just like a real big hero there. And then more in present time, we can see that he's got some good support in the uh cheer squad that he's been that he's joined as well. And we had the wonderful, beautiful moment where all of the eyes were shown. Just sort of in a moment where he finally gets to look and trust everyone. And he realizes that there are other good people who are, you know, who are there, who are in his life and who are willing to support him. And he just needs to be able to reach out and let go of, let go of the past that's been haunting him for so long. This was all amazing. With that resolved last episode, though, I'm not sure where we go here. Anyway, I really want to... I really want to get to watching this um, season finale just as much as I don't want to because when I finish it, then that's it. But there's no point putting it off. I'm going to start getting into it now. So just the quick reminder as usual that these are full-length timer-based reactions, which means you will need to get your own copy of the show so that you can watch along with me. There will be a timer just above my video. And I'll do a countdown before I start, so hopefully you can sync up, and we can enjoy it together. 
So without further ado, this is Season 2, Episode 12. The Student Council would like a group photo. The Student Council is going to get that group photo. And Chika Fujiwara wants to, in wants to inflate. Excuse me? Um, anyway. Starting. In 3, 2, 1, now. Right, she's still got that real old phone. Got nothing to take a photo of then. I love those two. Actually, I love them all. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Vogue. <laughs> He's so awkward. We've seen you all take photos before. That sounds very creepy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. Two students who secretly help each other out. That's so correct. Why is Chica so awkward about it? Oh, now you've done it.
The Conan. Conan brand camera. This principle is so extra. She looks so different with her with her hair down like that. Oh, I think we do. Oh, I mean, she lost all of her. I mean, he wouldn't actually be like that, but... I feel like you've just betrayed me.
Welcome to civilized society. Social media is so much effort. Not this again. I don't think it was that one. She always suppresses so much. Ah. Uh. This is good for them. <laughs> Look at her eyes.
That was sweet. <laughs> How does she do that? Mm. <laughs> it feels like everyone had the wrong idea. <laughs> that is a big balloon. Not gonna lie, I would definitely flinch. A secret weapon. Save me, Hayasaka. Is she gonna... <laughs> I almost expected Hayasaka to just psychically detect. Overtaken, overcome numerous hardships and taken a step forward. Yeah, this is Ishigami 2.0.
Oh no. Oh, poor Miko. Oops. If she was going to try to pop it. She actually made a blow dart. A blow gun. Father looks so young. Well, I mean, I guess obviously. <laughs> I completely ignored them. There's the <laughs> there's the opening that we missed. Results invalid. Oh my god. Oh man, that felt like a felt like a really short episode, even though I know it was still the normal amount of time. Just felt like it went by so quick. I also don't think I said anything. I don't. Just feels kind of like a blur. Really good way to cap off the season, though. It was, um, I guess, kind of similar to the first season finale, in that it sort of just hits you with the uh, emotion at the start, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I uh, I admit I wasn't saying much because I had a I had a bit of a lump in my throat <laughs> and uh, didn't really trust any words to make it out properly. But that was sweet. Um, again, we could see Shinomiya just... All of these emotions she's always just suppressing and keeping this... Trying to keep this very, you know, calm and... You know, just a very small 
smile as a facade over all of the pain that she feels. And once again, we see how much, how valuable the uh, student council is to her. How, um, how sort of attentive her friends are to her. It was a really great way of sort of showing it. Um, the idea of the photos. That she's, you know, just been... That she found a reason to take photos. And we've seen how much she sort of treasures these... The memories, I mean, like, particularly, particularly with um, Shirogane, but just in general, all of these things that she's found worth worth capturing and the idea of um losing them all like that seemed uh seemed pretty sad <clears throat> so it was really touching to see that moment where they formed a they formed a group chat that they'd sort of basically been holding out on until you know they were all able to actually join um, and everyone just, yeah, dumping all of their photos in there, just all of these, all of these wonderful shared memories. Which, you know, also are shared memories for us, the viewer. We get to see these and reflect back on them just as the, just as the uh, student council are as well. Um, but then, you know, after that, Decided not to finish too, you know, sort of too down or like too emotionally heavy and just finishing off the episode with something light and humorous again was very, again, very effective, a nice way to do it. I don't think there's really much to say about the, the end part. It was just sort of straightforwardly amusing. A little sad that we didn't get to see any more faces on vehicles. Um, but, you know, there are still plenty of opportunities for that. <clears throat> I'm just skimming real quickly through the episode again to see if there's anything that I wanted to comment on. I think it's funny, the school principal, the things that he was saying that seem to be very perceptive. I don't know whether it's because he actually sees these things. Or whether he's actually just innocently making these comments which happen to be very on point. Like his comment about the vibe between Miko and Ishigami. Why would I use the first name of one and this? Um, between Miko and you. Ino and Ishigami? Anyway. The vibe I get is two students who secretly help each other out. And then, of course, his comment about um, the relationship between Shinomiya and Shirogane, which, you know, of course set her off in the way that you usually expect. Well, this was a beautiful way to end the season. I don't think the season missed at all. So, you know, I really hope that we end up getting a season three. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I don't know what I'm going to watch after this, but uh, I've liked having this as kind of a routine, just sort of once a week. I watch a thing, I try to do a video, I'd like to get better and quicker. The only way I can improve is to keep doing them, so hopefully I'll find something else to watch in the meantime. I hope that there's a season three, and I hope that... Uh, we can all enjoy it together whenever that comes out. I really enjoy watching um, other reactions after I've finished recording my own. And yeah, it's just a nice feeling of, you know, getting to... As if I get to sit and watch the show and enjoy it with other people. So hopefully I've helped provide that for you. But you know, whatever happens... Happens. So... Until then, take care. And I'll see you next time.